love y'all. How you doing? Welcome back to the Bayside Jewel. Hope everybody's doing okay. Really do. Um, I want to share a message with you guys. You know, I'm sure you probably heard um, quite a few uh, Gambian sisters are having problems here and um, you know, some are very unfortunate. Things have been happening to our sisters here. So, you know, our sisters here from America. And first of all, before I get into this, I'm very sorry to the families. I send my love and my condolences. I'm very sad to hear about all the tragedies of our sisters that have came from America have been having here in the Gambia. You guys, I don't know what the hell is going on. I really don't. I don't know why, why, why this happened to quite a few sisters here. I, I don't know, you know. Um, it's unfortunate, you know, and the only thing that I could see is, um, you know, very sorry that it happened. And I hate doing this video, you know, I hate doing this video with, you know, I, I want to, I want to make it to not frighten people, you know, I don't want to be fear mongering or anything, but I'll say this, you guys, um, for me, Gambia has been pretty, pretty safe, you know, for me, it's been pretty safe. And I know that there are issues here just like there are in America you know thieves and stuff like that I know that but this uh, these unfortunate situations where our sisters are you know it's not cool and I don't have I don't have any explanation for it you guys I, I, I'm puzzled you know, as to what what the hell is going on, you know. But for the most part, Gambia has been really safe for me, you know. it's It's been all right, you know. Only thing I can say is, you know, anywhere you travel, you guys keep your circle small and tight. Small and tight, keep your circle, you know. And another thing is, you know, I'm not saying that you can't, you can't trust anybody. I'm saying that you can't trust everybody. That's for sure. You can't trust everybody. Even where you are in America, you can't trust everybody. So when you travel, you know, stay alert. Stay alert and uh, be aware of your surroundings. And, uh, you know, you can't remember, you can't trust everybody. You know, some, some of us... Like myself here, you know, when I first came here, I was just happy to meet everybody, you know. But I soon learned that I kind of had to tighten up my circle because it was just getting out of hand. Yeah, it was getting out of hand. So I had to tighten up my circle. And I suggest you guys do that wherever you go. Okay, so that's this is my message, you know. Be uh, very alert. And sisters, I wouldn't advise uh, traveling alone, you know, especially if you're talking about you're going to relocate. If you're going to relocate, definitely, you know, visit first and um, don't 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 re relocate alone. I, I wouldn't suggest that, you know, you, you know, it's OK if you're going to do it, you know, in groups or. You know, at least at, at least somebody else along with you. Don't don't do it by yourself. That's that's my suggestion. And if you can, you know, try to have a guy with you, a brother with you. You know, somebody that's gonna look out for you for real, so you don't get taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. So that's my message. And this next part of this video that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to tell you about business opportunities. You know, the thing about it is, is 
you know, I was saying I wouldn't come to Gambia, you know, and and uh, think about relocating there without having um, some kind of income coming in. And it's true. I, I, I will totally, you know, endorse that, really. But, you know, on the other hand, there is business opportunities here. And there are young couples that are uh, relocating and they're coming here with business opportunities and they're being able to sustain themselves here in these different countries, including here in Gambia. You guys check out uh, what's Queen Jody and AP. Check them out, man. They're doing it. They came here and they done been here for about three years now. They're doing it. You know, they're creating these business opportunities, taking advantage of what they could do with their skill sets. And you guys can do the same thing. So, you know, I'm very sorry for not being very optimistic, you know, but for, for, the, for the youth, for the young people. But, yeah, you guys, man, you, you guys got a lot of creativities, you know. And I'm going to tell you, you can come here with that and, and you can make it work to be able to sustain yourself here in the Gambia. You can do it. Yeah, so I'm going to take a break right here and I'm going to come back and I'm going to share my ideas, uh, business opportunities. Stay tuned.